Time to look at the rocks. Today we'll be looking at rhyolite. We've got the ones that we found from the last video. I've also got some others so that we can uh, have some fun with the cuts. A few different examples of rhyolite and chalcedony mixes from this area and the different colors that it can come in and its friendship with chalcedony. Also, the big guy. But first, it's time to do some cutting and we'll be able to see all the different patterns that these beautiful creeks out here in Southeast Queensland are providing for us in the rhyolite. Most of this rhyolite is heavily either silicated or silicified. One of those things, they're hard, basically. Cut. Look at the big guy in the back, hey? We'll have a look at him in a second. For now, I've been doing a little bit of research onto in rhyolite. When I say research, I've been Googling it. One of the things I noticed is that the color that they show looks something like this, pink and gray. But you can tell these have a lot more colors going on. A lot more reds, deeper reds, purples almost even. Some creamy looking stuff inside again just beautiful colors beautiful patterns then you got this stuff when you flip it over you can see these column type things what is rhyolite i know it's volcanic which means it's in igneous rock are basically lava. This one's pretty, it's got a little slab of chalcedony sitting on it. It is an extrusive rock, which means it forms outside of the volcano after it's come flowing out. That's got a few different types of chalcedony. It's got that little window at the bottom there, and then petroidals. Let's have a look at the rocks that I cut. You can actually see that that was a bubble. A little bloop. Looks like a little bit of water line exposed there. And then on the inside, woohoo, look at the color in that. The light chalcedony in there, then it's got like a, a border of, of carnelian. I don't know if you can see that in there. It's beautiful. Little clean off there and you can see once it's cut and it's got that nice flat surface it hasn't been banged around you can see the beautiful different things going on makes you wonder what it'll look like even further in there unfortunately i couldn't do it so i just gave it a little skim <laughs> and then there's this one it's beautiful Looks like that on the back. The cool thing about this though is, this is a broken up piece that we found in the creek. There was a lot of broken up pieces, but if this was the bit that they left behind, whoever broke it when they were looking for rocks, could you imagine how beautiful the piece was that they took? It's just gorgeous. Look at this guy. Look at that. It almost looks like picture jasper. You can see like the landscape, the bird in the sky, nice little sunset. It's really pretty stuff. I'm, I'm actually astonished at how pretty it can be in there. And each one's unique. That's what I like about it. This one turned out pretty cool too. I picked this up because it looked hard, it had cool colors, and I wanted to see what it does on the inside. And dude, seriously? That's, that's beautiful. The mixture of things going on in there is just, it's pretty stunning. And we're getting to the funner end of the, the rocks, the ones with a bit more stuff going on in it. First of all, pretty colored botroidals there. But the inside, there's a lot of things going on in there. Yeah, 
pretty. There's some green going on in there, reds. I mean, you can see it, but. This is the one that I that I was really happy with. I grabbed this rock from a video. I think it was called my biggest rock so far, which is actually funny because we've still got that guy, which is now my biggest rock so far. But I didn't realize how damn pretty this was. Look at that. greens in there, you got reds in there, clear bits going through. See on that corner there, the translucency. And this is hard on the inside for something that you would see that on the outside and think it's a bit porous maybe, but then you cut it and you see that all those little bits of clear cassette going through there. It's called rainforest jasper. It's not actually a jasper. It's, it's, it's just a name. Jasper is, oh, well, it's chalcedony with stuff in it to make it opaque. This is rhyolite. But oh, damn, it's just so pretty. All right, onto the big guy. I have to be honest, he's a beauty. I'm super glad for him to be home, but pretty much all of what I saw from the ground is all of what's going on in there. <laughs> and the rock, the rest of the rock is huge. Um, let's have a look. So there is little tiny bits of um, different kinds of chalcedony. There's white chalcedony, some petroidals in there. There's, there's carnelian, look at that jemmy bit. Um, and you can see it follows all the way down here, a little bit of clear. And that then follows underneath here and over to this bit. Beautiful, like a pale orange peach sort of color. Back up here to some really broken apart pieces of chalcedony. Let's spin it. It's heavy. I reckon that's probably about 30 kilograms. I don't know how much that is in pounds. Looking at the whole surface of the rock, a little bit there, and then it basically stops. And all of this is rhyolite, and that's the whole way through. Looks like he's smiling. <laughs> so now this rhyolite though, it is actually pretty. Got a chunk of it that we accidentally chipped off, and this rhyolite is heavily silicated, which means it's hard. So, unfortunately, for this big guy, for now, the tools I have aren't big enough for this. I just need a couple more pieces, and we can start working on some bigger pieces like this. He's a beast, he's a beauty. I love it. There's no real telling what's going on under this little island of rhyolite here. There you go, that's the big one. He's my friend, he's a beauty. I think if, if I had known that, there was not much in it anyway, I still would have taken it. My first big garden rock. I've got plenty of other little garden rocks. <laughs> Before we go, I wanna talk about this one. This is going to Simon, it's a beautiful piece. All those lines in there. I haven't cut it because I want to leave it for Simon to do what he wants to with it. Now there was mentioned that this might be stromatolite. I've emailed pictures off to a professor that I've talked to before. There was a wager between two of the viewers and they asked me to set the stakes. I told them that Whoever was right, if it was stromatolite or rhyolite, they get to choose their favorite rock from the video and I'll send it to them. I have a feeling I know which one it'll be. <laughs> I'm not always gonna be right. I have a feeling though that it is rhyolite. I haven't heard back from the professor. I'll let both of the people know who's right and um, this 
this one or another if you choose another one will be coming your way it's always good to question what people are saying and find your own answers as well and when you do let me know let me know all right thank you all so much for watching i uh, just yeah thank you all right happy hounding next video i will be showing my first tumble in about six months maybe <laughs> it's a beauty i've got some cut up pieces that i put through all right bye